I'm gonna give myself a lot of credit. I'm pretty much the best at customizing cars without overdoing it. All right, guys, so, you know, today's a good day because uh, a buddy of mine, Joaquin, who's actually one of my students at Secron Source Academy, who now has become uh, an incredible force in e -com, is going to come pick up his car. So this is his second car through Exotic Car Hacks that he was able to drive or he's driving for free now. But for the first time, he actually was like, hey, I've always wanted to soup up my car. And I'm going to say something just about myself. I want you to see this real quick. This is my Aventador S, and it's probably the hottest Aventador S ever built. So <clears throat> I'm pretty much like, I'm gonna give myself a lot of credit, I'm pretty much like the best at customizing cars without overdoing it. I take basically something perfect and just make it slightly better. Like we don't need to be crazy, we don't need triple wide body kits and things like that to make basically the perfect engineered cars into what they were always meant to be without restriction of money and so on and so forth. So whenever my friends want to do their cars, they usually come to me and they go, listen, do whatever you want and I'll just trust you. And the thing is, I've never been wrong putting wheels in a car or anything else. And so this car is no different. This is really exciting. I'm gonna tell you right now what I did to this car, but he hasn't seen his car yet. So we're gonna catch him in a few seconds when he gets here. Uh, I went to 1221, uh, which is a wheel company that was recently established and they do incredibly beautiful work. I mean. The, the spokes here are just amazing. The finish is amazing, so the fitment is fantastic. The 1221 wheels here found on this car uh, are just basically a 2021 setup, three-piece uh, polished brush combo. In addition to that, uh, the car is sitting on Velocity AP uh, springs, so it's just lowered right. The car is actually matte yellow from the factory, and it was so hard for me for about like a week or so because I had to keep going back and saying, how did I want to customize the car? Did I want to do... Black wheels, it originally came with black wheels and I thought it looked like shit. And so, you know, I decided when I decided to do this car, I said the only way I'm going to do this car is if I can make it, uh, kind of give it a different feel. You see, these cars look like little toys when they come out of the factory. And what I wanted to do with this particular car is I wanted to make it look expensive, which is why I went with this exact finish. And I think it came out fantastic. So here you have probably one of the best examples of what a simple wheel lower combo can do on a Huracan, taking it from a toy to a beautiful, expensive piece of art. And here you have a perfect example of how taking a premium car and enhancing it just about 10% can really enhance the car just with a kit, basically wheels and suspension. But it's all about the details, and that's what really makes a difference. Because you see, my buddy Joaquin, which I'm really proud of, because in the last two years, I've watched him grow exponentially as a, as a business owner, as a person, as an entrepreneur, and everything else. And one of the things for for me with, with this car is he was like, oh, I need these wheels now. And I was like, no, you got to wait the full six, eight weeks to get these made because I wanted just the finish to be so perfect. But anyways, so what did you see is, I think he's here. So let me, let's go in and, and see him and see what's up. I think he's going to be here. Maybe, come on, follow me. There he is, there he is. Close, close it before you can see it. You can't see it. What's up, man? What's up, what's up? What's up, baby? You know, I, was just telling, I was just telling Liam and the camera that yesterday you couldn't control yourself. At first, I tried to warm him up. I was like, yo, or whatever. I spoke to him, and then I was like, can you send me a picture? And he was like, nope. <laughs> and I was like, damn. And then he couldn't control himself. Yeah, at the end, I was like, like, yo, you sure you don't want a picture? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to wait? <laughs> Literally it's, at it's, night, like I'm it, about to go to sleep, texts me. Dude, it's know, really good. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Uh, no, 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 outside. Out, outside. Oh, yeah, outside. outside. Yeah, you go. You see from outside. I'm about to reveal his car. He's waiting outside. We're about to find out if he actually likes it. I think he's gonna like it, but I mean, how can you not fuck with it? I like it. Looks yeah. absolutely insane, and my favorite part is that it's not gonna cost me a ton of money. Because if you mod it properly, 
like when you sell it, it retains the value. So not only do I get to drive like a dropped car with insane wheels that were like custom made specifically for it, but it's not expensive. Which How is, is freaking like super nuts, hot. Right? I mean, the matte yellow with the color. Yeah, and we weren't sure initially. Honestly, like I wasn't sure. I was like, all right, PJ, just do whatever you want. And PJ was like, yeah, let's just throw this chrome in here or whatever. And I was like, isn't that gonna look like a little ghetto, like, like, like shit? Is it ghetto? Nope. Is it perfect? Dope. Yeah. It's super sick. It made it expensive, right? Because the car looked like so toyish and plastic. Yep. Kind of, but now it's like super, like, tiny. It looks insane. Now, when you roll through Miami, people will not. Joaquin, he do he come, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>